Hi, this is Anna Breeze, spiritual mentor and singer-songwriter and vegan as well. Okay, um, so I just wanted to do a video on, you know, why I'm vegan, why I'll be vegan this Christmas and why I've been vegan for many, many Christmases now over the years. But um, I just wanted to share why I'm vegan and I think especially at Christmas, um, I'm very glad that I am vegan because, you know, it's a time of year where obviously every year, I don't really enjoy Christmas that much now. And every year it's, it's kind of as, as my own consciousness is expanding as well, it's, it's becoming more kind of uh, difficult to enjoy Christmas. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm coming from a place of, you know, spirituality or consciousness where, um, you know, it's not about external circumstances, you know, in order to be happy. But at the same time, I'm, I'm aware of the connection between um, this unity consciousness and feeling this oneness with life and how it relates to veganism as well because part of my awakening on, on my spiritual journey was also just um, feeling that oneness, that connection with, with all of life around me. And there was a particularly pivotal experience where um, a wood pigeon had been visiting my windowsill and there was just a moment one day where I looked and I saw myself <laughs> you know, as this wood pigeon. <laughs> um, so it's like, you know, and then I could see there was an, an elderly lady that lived across the road as well. And I felt, I, I felt this unity with her as well. And it's just like with everything. And, and this has kind of stayed with me, um, you know, this sense of oneness or unity with all of life, because I feel that we are all you know, we all come from source, we all come from uh, the source of creation, the, the void that gave, that enables creation itself, that gives life or enables um, life to be on this planet. So I feel like we are all, this, we're all really one and the same. And I feel that beauty and that love and, and, and uh, appreciation for earth and nature and, and all her living beings so you know when I go my nature walks and see the birds and all the animals and you know it's you know it's as if I'm feeling how it feels to be a seagull you know a wood pigeon it, it's like it, it feels like it's just an extension of me which makes sense because everything is is like an extension of source so as human beings, we are this expression of source in human form. So therefore, to me, animals are also that expression of source, but in dif different species, different forms. So it doesn't matter whether it's a, a rat or a snake or a dog or a cat or a pig or a, a cow. It's all expression of source and, you know, and therefore deserves respect and reverence because it's life. So I'm very for life you know, for existence, you know, for the expression of these infinite life forms, these infinite expressions of consciousness, infinity, and, you know, um, just the beauty of it, the miracle of it, you know, the miracle of, you know, how it takes for a puppy to become a puppy, you know, from the moment of conception. Why is that not as, as miraculous as it is for a human? or a cow or a pig or an elephant. It, it is, in, in, in my view, in my perspective, it is just as sacred. It's all sacred, it's all life. So especially at this time of year, so I wanted to get back to Christmas because it's, it's when, you know, there's just such a, a, a holocaust, you know, like an animal holocaust um, of preparing animals for human consumption for Christmas dinner. And then we have, we're bombarded with these messages. So it's just full of contradictions and paradoxes, you know, this whole Christmas thing. 
because it's like um yeah we're bombarded with messages of peace and joy to, and goodwill to, to all <laughs> so well why doesn't that extend to the turkeys you know why doesn't it extend to the you know the ducks you know um and the you know the chickens why doesn't it extend to them are they having a good christmas are they going to have a good christmas you know and then what is it for you know to to put meat on the plate and and joy and then go and eat quality street and and then like do it all again the next day and then but and people always complain don't they like you know oh i'm sick of turkey you know we've been having it for two weeks and then they get they they sicken themselves because they've been overindulging in the same foods all the time so there's just so many contradictions and, and paradoxes you know um with christmas and the whole idea of christmas spirit and and you know how how you know we want to be happy human beings want to be happy and express this love and this good cheer and be in the joy you know of christmas but you know um what did it you know <laughs> at what cost at what cost to life at what cost to other species at what cost to the, the enjoy the joy of other species you know we're taking we're um we're denying that joy that um, ability to enjoy life from other creatures just so that we can fill ourselves up and usually to the point of being stuffed and feeling sick you know on christmas day um you know all for what merriment is it is it true merriment is it true joy you know is that where where joy really stems from i think not you know um but food is a big issue and it's one that a lot of people don't want to face because it does involve um you know facing ourselves because a lot of the time people are eating to suppress emotions and trauma of the past and uh you know are using food as, as a crutch for that so you know there's there's so many different reasons why people still want to eat you know animal products and and stuff like that but then we're also you know we also have the ecological um issue as well now so it's it's not just a fashion you know a lot of people say oh you vegans you know um <laughs> they think it's a fashionable thing you know but it's not anymore and the science is there to prove that it's not a fashion you know uh, a, a, what do they call it a fad it's not just a fad anymore it's it's almost a necessity you know if seven billion people plus you know nearly eight billion on the planet are going to be able to clothe feed um, and shelter and you know thrive if that amount of people are going to thrive on the planet then we have to look at what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis how we consume uh, products plastics as well as the food you know and and how we're doing that but then also for me i think that you know part of our consciousness journey is is to live from the heart and to be in a be compassionate you know be more compassionate and loving and and so if we're going to be more compassionate and loving i feel that would also include loving everything that that is you know loving what is in form before us what what this creator has manifested so anyway, I'm not going to go on too much about it. I just wanted to kind of share a little bit about the whole Christmas thing. And, you know, if you want to add some comments, um, it'd be good to hear it because I know it's not an easy time of year for a lot of vegans. And, um, you know, so it's good if we can kind of reach out and support one another. And uh, also, um, I, you know, there is a book in my description on this channel for a raw Christmas recipe book, just in case you're interested in that. It's a book I created, oh, about mm, six, seven years ago now. And it was when I was a raw foodist and just, you know, I was gonna be having dinner with, with my family and I wanted to make sure I had lots of delicious food as well. So I created this book and, you know, with all my favorite recipes that I was gonna enjoy. So that's available as an ebook. It doesn't cost very much. Um, and it helps support this channel 
and what I'm wanting to bring uh, forward, you know, the, the kind of knowledge or education that I want to bring through or that wants to come through me, whatever. <laughs> so um, thank you for being here and thank you for listening to me. I know I've gone on a bit, but um, it's just, I think it's good to share, you know, how we are, how we are feeling and how, you know, just our different ways of, of living as vegans on this planet. But for me, it is just respect for all life because I'm for life, you know, it's like, um, you know, and I just feel like if we want true happiness on earth, true peace and happiness and joy and compassion and all these qualities that we so admire and aspire to as human beings, then why don't we start with the animals? You know, why don't we start showing them that compassion, that respect, that love, as well as one another, of course, you know, all animals, all species, because we are ultimately all from the one, the one source at the end of the day. Okay, so that's my message for today. Wishing you lots of love and light. Uh, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.